as part of our continued efforts to reach the African and other ethnic communities in the United Kingdom with greater impacts and create a platform to hear your silent and unheard views in this hugely green community in the United Kingdom, our channel, Ben TV, presents to you another live current affairs television program. Our focus on the program is to review and discuss issues around the diaspora community in the UK. The program offers you the unrestricted voice on issues you in the UK. Join us live every morning. All right, you're welcome back. And it's still dialogue in the house. We're coming to you live from Ben Television. We are transmitting from our North London studio across the whole of Europe and indeed to Africa. You're welcome to the program. And we go to our main point uh, of discussion today. Should the National Assembly impeach President Muhammad Buhari over his homeland absent, i.e. over his absence from the country. Uh, it's, it's almost running to 90 days now, or probably about 90 days now. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, if, you, if you go on uh, some online uh, news media, they're actually counting in days, in minutes, and in seconds. Should President Mahmoud Bari be impeached by the National Assembly, the number to call is on, uh, going to be put on the screen. That is 0208 you can join us on the program and the number to call is 0208-808-0693 should the president be impeached and you will be allowed to share your view uh, on the program today uh, as we look at this major uh, topic uh, coming to you live from Ben Television. And I've got my guest now in the studio who is joining me, who will be looking at this uh, uh, topic with me uh, on the program. He is Honorable Babs Fakbunda, a political commentator and analyst, joining us on the program today. Honorable Babs, a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us. Thank uh, you so much. What we are looking at on the show, um, we are counting in days, and of course, we are counting in weeks now. Uh, it, actually, it is 91 days now. Uh, 91 days, 15 hours, 58 minutes, 10 seconds as we're speaking. 91 <laughs> days, 15 hours, hours 58 15 minutes, 15 now 16 seconds okay. as we're speaking <laughs> that President Mahmoud Bali has been out of the country. Should the National Assembly, the lawmakers, impeach him? Um, I, before I actually respond to the um, that question. That question. Yes, you want to create some background info? Yeah, please, I want to um, create an indulgence on this. I really want to, um, I really want to thank Nigerians for their patience over a lot of things that have been going on in the country, especially um, the economic situation of our people and um, the situation of um, the national currency, and a host of other things that have been happening that um, I wouldn't actually want to um, divert uh, into. Um, regarding the issue of um, President Muhammadu Buhari's uh, absence from the country, I think um, it is not news to an average Nigeria that um, this is happening at this point in time. Because during the pre-election pre period, this issue did come up. And um, APC party w was able to manage it very well and give them a lot of kudos for that. And um, eventually, um, President Buhari emerged as the president. And uh, unfortunately, it has been one thing to the other ever since he became the president. I think he's been out of the country on um, sick um, note uh, once before today. And um, now that he's doing this again for nine months. 90 um, days. Na 90, 90 days, sorry. Days exactly. 90 today. days, uh, yeah. Um, I think, um, for a start, it's a constitutional issue. And we are looking at um, the legislative um, assembly, especially um, talking about the, Congre I mean, the um, House of Rep and the Senate that um, have um, 
qualified and well-to-do individuals and personalities, experienced politicians, who I think are supposed to know what to do. But unfortunately, we should not negate the fact that um, APC controls the National Assembly. But the National Assembly is also as divided as a party itself. It, that, that's correct. But I mean, I mean, yes, APC may control the National Assembly, assembly. but it is, no, it is no news to everybody that the, uh, the party does not have control on its members in the National Assembly. That's true. But when it boils to the nitty gritty, they will still caution, behind the party. Caution. They will exercise caution because they are politicians. They are only there for a term, term, term time. They are only there for a limited period of time. They have to be cautious. This is where national interest, patriotic leaders, and, and personal interest kicks into the equation. Why are they soft peddling? What have they done in response to this anomaly? It's an anomaly, obviously. These are the issues that we should be looking into. And then what is the duty of the judiciary? Judiciary is very, very important in the polity, especially in the federal, in the federal system of government. G the judiciary is the umpire. They are very, very important. And if you can recollect very recently, some of them were like um, handed down. They were scared into their shell. The, it is wrong. If the judiciary is doing something that is not right, it is not within the remit of, of, the, executive. of the executive. Thank you very much. To, to the, the, there, is, there are constitutional provision. Like I said earlier on, it's a federal system of government, and the constitution is very, very important. The constitution, the, 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 the executive is supposed to do things in accordance to the constitution. Even if the judiciary are not doing very well, if they are lacking in a certain way or the other, it is the duty of the executive. National Judicial uh, Commission, uh, thank you the very NJC. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To look into it. But where the NJC is also failing according to the, according to, uh, the, the government agency responsible for that action. They said even the NJC wasn't acting following series of uh, information that has been given to him about his members, uh, members of the bench on the anomalies, on the corruption involving the judges. You are very much right, sir. I mean, touching on that um, very briefly. Um, then we are talking about systemic failure. There is a gap in the operation of the three organs or arms of government. It has been politicized, and it is not today. I wouldn't say I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would. I would be objective in my disposition here. It is not today that this is happening. It has been happening over the decades, and successive governments have not been able to tackle or attend to it the way they are supposed to. I'm not going to mention names or regime or tenure here, but. It is not a new thing also that these issues of anomaly or constitutional gap or um, inconsistency or um, you know um, certain organ of government you know performing beyond its constitutional ultra vire, its constitutional duty and so on and so forth. Constitutional lawyers have been coming on television. I remember one came on television in the TBC in, La in Lagos and dissected situations, detailing the relationship and the powers that exist between the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature, of which there are no news to all of us as well as enlightened members of Nigerian society. Mm. But the problem is situations that are affecting the polity of our country are not being tackled head on by politicians in government. All right. Uh, and still with me here in the studio is Sonia Bas Fakbonda, our political analyst. And the question we put to have on the show today is Buhari's homeland absence, that is President Buhari's absence from Nigeria. Should the National Assembly impeach him now? It's now exactly 91 days 
91 solid days, more than three months since the president left Nigeria. And we are saying on this program dialogue in diaspora, even if Nigeria media are quiet and silent over this issue, we are taking upon ourselves on this show that as long as we continue to have this program, we will continue to raise the issue of President Mahmoud's Buhari's, uh, President Buhari's absence from Nigeria until probably either something happens or he returns to Nigeria so that we can give Nigerians in diaspora the voice to express their opinions. And the number to call to the studio is right there. You can call into the studio, tell us what you've your views are what do you think should the national assembly impeach president Mahmoudou Buhari now following his absence from nigeria in the last 91 days and the number to call is right there on uh, the, the screen but as you have in the studio joining me on the bus fact mother bearing in mind as you have said the conflict in the exercise of duties and responsibilities among the three tiers of a uh, government, especially in Nigeria, where the executive tend to play the upper power, as we have seen in this administration. Um, would the National Assembly be able to, not, no, not, not even any member of the National Assembly, either the House of Reps or House of Senate, has raised any point of order on the president's absence, will they ever be able to do this? They, they, should, they will be able to do it. Or they should be able to do it. They should be able to do it, and they will be able to do it eventually. But the reason why I said they, they, they should be able to do it is because um, it is a form of embarrassment on the part of um, 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 legislative members to um, condone such anomaly, or should I say interregnum, in the process of governance in Nigeria. But I want to exercise um, caution here. And before, before you go, 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 go before you go on, go let me quickly take Obi. Obi is joining us. Good morning, Obi. Where are you calling from? Good morning, Obi. Good morning, Obi. Obi, are you there? Good morning. Uh, good morning. I'm calling from London. From London. Hello, Thank you. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Obi. Thank you for joining us on the show. Can I ask you to turn good down morning. the... Good morning. I'm hearing you. Yes. Can I ask you to turn down the volume of your TV set, please? Obi? Hello, Obi? Obi, are you there? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Go on. All right. Um... With regard to what you are discussing, I think, uh, uh, hello? Obi, I can hear you. Go uh, on. Now, it's like uh, uh, our president, uh, Buhari, has a different law from the rest. Uh, are you hearing me? Obi, go on. Turn yes, down. The, yes, turn down the volume of it. I don't want them to take you out. Go on. Just keep talking. All right. Um, the, the question here is... Uh, it's like we have a different law from what Buhari has. Uh, if I go back, hello? Go on, keep talking. Yeah, uh, if I go back when Good Luck was in government during the campaign, I'm time to, I stand there to be corrected. Are you hearing me? Obi, I'm afraid they're going to take you out. Uh, we can hear you, but you're not talking. If you call into the studio, please turn down the volume of your... Mute your TV set. Just talk straight. We can hear you. Talk straight to your uh, uh, speaker phone or to your phone, but mute your TV. Do not listen to your TV. You can listen. You can watch your TV, and you can listen. Uh, uh, via your phone. Thanks a lot. Obi, you may call back if you have that opportunity and we want to express your opinion on the topic of discussion today. Should the National Assembly, Nigerian lawmaker, impeach President Mahmoud Bari over his homeland absence? Uh, that's the topic we are looking at on the show. You say you wanted to send uh, uh, some caution. Oh, yes. Um, because um, the the, the interest, the personal interest of leg each legislative member, consider the fact that they are the majority member in the National Assembly, both House of Rep and Senate, is an impediment. 
Because remember, the political party is still an overhacking influence on all but of them. even even the opposition party which is the pdp and other smaller parties nobody has even raised the issue of the president's absence let us assume apc is not talking at the national assembly what about pdp they are not even raising any nobody from the floor of the nationals both at the senate and the as well, has raised any point of that to the excuse us 91 days the president of the federal republic of nigeria has been out of town it's become an international issue what are we doing should he resign or should we impeach Nobody is talking. Another area of, um, of um, importance and relevance here. Thank you for that. You see, I mentioned the judiciary earlier on because they are directly involved in this. Because they should be the But, but the judiciary will not need to do anything no, if I, the matter doesn't I, go I know, to I know, I know, I know. That's why I said you raised a valid point. That is one of the valid points that I mentioned earlier on. This is the second one now. The opposition party other political parties. It is true. Let me put your hold there. I've got Chamberlain on line. <laughs> Chamberlain, thank you for joining us on the program. Good morning, Chamberlain. Yeah, good morning, Tunde. I'm calling from the uh, Republic of Ireland. So, it's a pleasure having you again this morning. Yeah, thank you very much. I, may, I must commend you for the good job you are doing. Thank Keep you. It up. Thank you. Uh, we are happy. We Nigerians, we are happy. Continue the good job, please. Um, let me go straight to the point, please. Our president has to be impeached. That is straightforward. We are living in Europe. We have learned from their standards. We are still learning from their standards. Please, let nobody cover up anything. We are all Nigerians. Let us move that country forward. Our president is sick. He has tried. If he cannot continue, let the National Assembly do the right thing to impeach him. And may I remind you, Tunde, and the viewers, and all Nigerians, that President Muhammadu Buhari campaigned against shopping for medical care abroad. He even threatened to close it up. This same president campaigned to shop for education abroad. Today, his children are all over Europe having education. So all of his promises to Nigerians, he has not fulfilled any. And now he is sick. And may I remind you again that this same president, Muhammadu Buhari, called for impeachment during the time of Yaradua, when Yaradua was sick and absent for some days. So I can't see the reason why now it is his turn and the National Assembly is not doing the right thing. Please, let me just put it short and simple. This is my own view. President Muhammad Buhari should be impeached. Let the National Assembly do the right thing. Let that country move forward. Thank you very much. Once All right, again. Chamberlain, thank you for calling into the studio from Ireland. That's Chamberlain. In his opinion, Chamberlain, as a Nigerian living in the diaspora, said the National Assembly should act now by impeaching President Muhammad Buhari. What are your thoughts? What do you think? Are you in support of that? Sorry, let me go on with you. You said the opposition. We're making reference to the opposition. Oh, opposition, yeah. Thank you so much. And um, I was commending you for raising that point as well. It's a valid point. Um, when APC um, led government came to prominence in Nigeria, what did they do? They started witch hunting the opposition PDP members. It was a witch the, hunt. People said we, that wasn't witch hunt. People stole money and they went after them. What's that witch hunt? No. The reason why I said it's a witch hunt is because no bird flies with a single you know, hand. A bird flies with both hands. Feathers, you know, stuck on them. Are you telling me, sir, that it is only PDP leaders in government that are found wanting over the years? We have, we had uh, APC leaders as governors. We had APC leaders as senators. We had APC leaders as, you know, members of the government. At every, at every level or tiers of government, not a single one of them was harassed or molested. That's why I used, to, as I used that word, witch hunt. Otherwise, I, I would have agreed with you. You see, Buari would have actually added immense value to Nigeria, especially a, a, a party that was crusading 
um, discipline and a man that is crusading integrity, he would have actually added a lot of credence and value to Nigeria if he had actually balanced things up, arrested APC leaders who were corrupt, arrested PDP leaders who were corrupt, and Nigeria and the whole world will see that, yes, we have a leader within so, so by implication, you are saying it is because of the way the, the government and the party hounded down opposition leaders. That's why probably they are quiet now. They are saying because they themselves right. have got skeleton That's in their wardrobes. Thank you. So if they raise a voice, their books will be opened. Absolutely. So they are quiet. No, I know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hold brief for bad leadership. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm not holding brief for bad leadership. What I'm saying is that let us be fair in our disposition. Let us do things and let the whole world see that what we are doing is right. Okay. All right, let me put you on. Oh, I've got Joseph. Joseph, good morning. Thank you for joining us on the program. Good morning, Joseph. Where are you calling from? Morning, Joseph. Good morning, Joseph. Hello, I'm from London. All right, go ahead. I can hear you. Keep talking, uh, Joseph. I, I want to make a participate in this program. Yes, go on. Your life. Uh, this man who is uh, there with you. Can you hear me? Joseph, go, go ahead. Go Can straight to the me? question. Joseph, go straight to the question. Should the National Assembly impeach President Mahmoud Buhari? Hello, Joseph. Okay, okay, okay. I want to participate. Okay, my question, my, my question, my question to this your man is, uh, he's talking about Buhari's health. Buhari does also create his own health. Anybody can be sick at any time. And uh, the, he, he has no right, I mean, uh, this man has no right to say that, pardon? Yes. Why is he talking about Buhari's health that is being pitched? He cannot be pitched because he is not God. God, created, God made him to be sick. And, and uh, it's only medical doctor in, I mean, in London that can make him uh, 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 either certify him not to be unfit. To be, to be the president of Nigeria, not the, not the Senate, nor anybody. So, so he, and the question of, about uh, uh, corruption, this man uh, is trying his best to see that Nigeria, every Nigerian enjoy themselves. Myself talking to you now, I'm a Nigerian. I cannot go to Nigeria because of corruption. Corruption everywhere. Cor corruption is working in the streets of Nigeria. Do you people like it? Everybody in Nigeria is hungry. It's not Buhari that created the hunger. I am not a politician. I do, I do not belong to ABC or PDP. But the, the problem started from, uh, 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 from uh, the previous government. So that's all I have to say. Thank oh, you very much. All right, Joseph. So in your view, Nigerians should just not, the National Assembly should not bother about the president. They should allow him to get well and continue. No. Oh, fantastic. All right, Joseph, thanks so much. Joseph, in his opinion, has just told us now that God is the one that makes people sick and well, and only uh, uh, President Mahmoud Boris doctor can actually declare him fit or unfit. And the best Nigerians could do at this moment is that they should keep praying for the president and not talk about impeaching the president. That's another view from under Nigerian. You want to take on that, or you want to continue from where we stop about the hundred down of opposition party? I think he has actually um, expressed his point expediently from his own subjective perspective. I will carry on with what I'm saying, okay. what I was saying earlier on. Um, you see, when when you when 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 you want to prosecute prosec uh, corruption in in the country, we are all aware of the situation of corruption and we know what is going on and people who are members of APC who surround Buhari are sacred cow and those who are not members of APC who are supposed to be op members of opposition party to balance you know the, 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 the power between the ruling party and the opposition party in the country you know they are being which hunt, I am still repeating it, up and down. They are being picked up today, dropped tomorrow. But, but Malaskola Joseph just said the problem Nigeria currently has today did not start from President Mahmoud but it started from the last administration. Actually, is that right? Look, it's not even just the problem that Nigeria is going through now did not actually um, start from, you, you cannot attribute it particularly to a particular regime. 
it's a systemic failure that has actually started right from independence. But I don't want to go into that, de uh, that deep. Every government in Nigeria, apart from that of Idi Agbo, of which is the same Bwamo Dubari again. <laughs> okay, let me put you on hold. I've done Gozi. Gozi, good morning, Gozi. Thank you for joining us on the program. Good morning, Gozi. Where are you calling from? Yes, I'm calling from London. All right, thank you, Gozi. Go ahead and make your point. Okay, um, it's a well, uh, welcome the speech. And the question is, should the National Assembly impeach President Muhammad Bari 91 days away now from the homeland? Well, I want to, uh, I want to make a reference to what the, the last speaker has just said. Okay, go on. Just said, <coughs> sickness is not a guarantee or a sympathy issue. And uh, it's not an individual that he is leading. He's leading the whole country, a nation where we have people that are even qualified and more to replace him in case he is sick. We all have that feeling of sickness once in a while, but not on a platform of that level. If he is sick and he cannot leave our nation, he should step down and keep on enjoying his medical uh, uh, his treatment and also continue to their life. That sick is not a do or die effect for him. So I am saying it categorically with that sentiment. A leader cannot leave his country for most and yet claiming to be our leader. And what he contested for his election is not what we are seeing now. Because while he's here in London, his helicopter is parked at the airport saying the marriage. It is all about Nigerian money. So please, he needs to be in peace and replaced with somebody that is healthy. And then he can take his time and take care of his health and continue with his medical treatment. It is not his personal position. So he makes the faces forever in Nigeria. That's what I'm saying. So in your opinion, you think the National Assembly should exactly. impeach him yes. if he does That's not resign? I, that is my own opinion. So by contrast, you are not agreeing with Joseph? I don't agree with him at all. We have, we have, we have policies, we have regulations, we have legislation in, in Nigeria, well qualified, even more than him. So if he is not fit, to lead our nation. Let him step down. That is not his, it is not his permanent position. Let him step down, then have time to treat himself and be well and be alive. Let others that are healthy continue. NPC cannot keep him there as a figure and then continue, the country will just continue to be in a mess. Mm. Because everything they campaign for during his campaign it has not been done, nothing. Even he is now the person breaking those rules of overseas treatment, or overseas going to school, overseas this and that. It's all about our money. The economy is not getting better. So let him say that, let him be categorically in peace. That's what I'm saying. All right, As a woman, <laughs> if I can feel this way, you can know what the real learned men in Nigeria are feeling and all over the world. All right, Ngozi, thanks a lot. Ngozi from London say that he, she does not agree with Joseph, that if the president is not fit, he should either step down or he should be impeached, that it is not fair on Nigerians for him to say he is Nigeria's president and is away on another country receiving treatment for on the platform of the Nigerian public. That is Ungozi expressing our opinion. You can still keep the call coming in on the show today. And that's what we're looking at, uh, the president's absence from Nigeria. We will keep amending on this until either something happens. What we're pushing for here is the president's good health. We we'll pray for him that the president gets where, returns to Nigeria, and continue the very good work he's doing. Otherwise, um, if he's not able to continue in that office, there's no point keeping 180 million Nigerians in limbo, keeping us waiting. He's got options, and Nigeria will thank him for the good service. He's done absolutely fantastically well for Nigeria within his very short time he's been in Nigeria. And then we will remember him for the good job he's done. I've got Ade on the line. Ade, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Where are you calling from? From Bermia. From Bermia. Good morning, Ade. Go ahead and make your point. Yeah, I just done your program now. Uh, 
Buhari Homeland Assembly, National Assembly, which yeah. him now. Yeah. Well, I'm, 91 I'm, days. 91 days now that he's been away from the country. Yeah. Well, but uh, when someone sick, do you know when the person is going to be well? Of course, we don't know. People talk as, the people, people talk as the, 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 they've never been uh, 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 sick in their life. Mm. Yeah, in this country, we are. I work with NHS. When people sick, they give them sick leave. Is it? You get the issue from the nose, uh, from, from the doctor. Sometimes you can even be sick for when you are you are sick for six months. But is that comparable when you are talking about? A leader, a president of a country, or a governor of a state, yeah. somebody who takes decision, number one citizen of a state or of a country, somebody who takes Mr. decision Mr. about the country. He, he, Is he, that the he, same thing? Sir, this president, was his intention to post it? Of course not. So, what is this Ubal, Ubal, uh, 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 or this Ulapalu? Not for the case. Mm. This man posted it. He, 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 he has been contested to be the president of this country for more than three times. And he eventually won. The people making this noise didn't vote him. We that vote for him, we that come back for him, believe in his leadership, we will know that God knows what he's doing. You, you, you don't know when you're going to die, you don't know when you're going to post it. So this one first day, instead of Nigerians praying for him, it's unfortunate a, a, a country, the president called for his people to pray for a president of Nigeria. Instead, Nigerians that uh, are they, what, what are Nigerians going to pray about? Nigerians do not even know what is happening to the let, president. Let, they don't let, even uh, know the let, nature let, of the let, sickness. Let, so let, if they want to pray, what would they pray against? Any? Yeah, would they pray that. against malaria fever? What are they going to pray against? Let me tell you the culture of Nigeria. People can start talking because it's not them. If someone is even pregnant, you see this person pregnant, and you say, are you pregnant? Person, these Nigerians will be denied. Mm. If someone is sick, and, 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 you said, oh, are you sick? No, 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 I'm fine. It's well. We, sometimes we hide our, 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 our illness for a reason. Okay, so Adi, in a short, in, in, in a short, uh, in, in short, in your opinion, you think all, like, what Nigeria should do now is keep praying for the president and to get Sir, well and not GB, bother themselves. The president of GB didn't ask for the leaders of the president. He told his country, pray for this man. The Archbishop of Canterbury went there three, four days ago, said, I will continue praying for you. Why is the president of Nigeria? You see, because they, they don't like this man. What I am saying to you, the prayer of Nigeria, that one this man will make this man survive, and this man will continue. And let me tell you, it's a shocker to death. So, Adi, Adi, straight to the question now. You think, as far as your concern and your opinion, the National Assembly should just continue doing their job. They should not bother themselves about talking about the president's absence or talking about impeaching him. The, the, what, what has the uh, president done in the Constitution? Abs absolutely. Is, awesome. Is there anything wrong? What has he done wrong in the Constitution? If before you get impeached, you must have done something wrong in the Constitution. So, okay. tell so you talking about constitutional provision now, talking about constitutional provision, you think it is, it is appropriate, it is fair on Nigeria for the president yeah, to be away for 91 days, I, I the for, yeah, and yeah, still yeah, on, we, Nigerians do not even this, know this, how long was, this is going to last. Hello, sir. Was it the intention of this man, this president? Of course not. It, it is not the his intention. Question, I, 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 as a journalist, was his intention to force it? This man forced it. It was not him that if sickness, illness, death come from God. And at some time, those that go to church, so called people that are, are, are praying, tell him to get his speech or, or pray for him to die. They go to church uh, yesterday, Sunday, they go and chat hypocrisy of Christianity. Uh, uh, when they go to the church, the pastor asked them what's going on. The pastor said, All of you get in order and give them water and cut 
than drop. Okay, uh, uh, Adi, I think you made your point. Your position is very clear on this matter. Nigeria should just continue to pray for Mr. President. It is not his wish to be sick. Now he has fallen sick. It shouldn't be anybody's problem. All that we should do is continue to pray for him. How long this is going to last, we don't know. But the National Assembly should keep doing their job. They should not bother about this. He has not broken any law. He has not violated any constitutional provision. As far as you're concerned, we should just keep praying for the president. It is nobody's business. Thank you, uh, Adi, for, for your comment on the show. That's another comment. You see. And he did say something that people who said the president should be impeached are the people who did not vote the president into power. That's true. Probably. That could be. But let me let me let me let me let me come to this point. Um, the, the 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 liberal democratic system of government is being practiced. I, I'm sorry, I think I've got a couple of. I, I, I'm just Another about one. to go now. But let me take Okoye. Okoye, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the show. Where is Okoye calling from today? I'm calling from Italy. From Italy. Thank you so much. Go ahead. I make your point, Okoye. Go on, Okoye. Yeah. Good morning. I'm calling from Italy. Good morning. Yeah, uh, what I want to say here is this. Uh, about, I'm sorry about the illness of the president, but the problem here is that I think our nation has come to a point where we should start to look at our constitution, what it says and what it did not say. And we need to know how long can somebody be absent in his office and the, and the, and the, and the nation can deal with it. So let's just interpret what the Constitution says. Because I don't think it is right for the president to be out indefinitely. And we just keep silent. Exactly. And the fact is that they are not communicating the, his, his status of, uh, of his, the state of his illness. is another problem. So I think as Nigerian, I wish the president well. But Nigeria deserves sincerity. They deserve honesty. We need to know what is going on. If he is capable of going with his work, glory be to God. But if not, I think there are other Nigerians who can take over mm. so that the nation can go on. It is, our nation is, big, is bigger than anybody. O Okoye, do you agree with my last caller, Ade, before you came in, who said that anybody can fall Hello? sick? At, do you agree with my last caller, Ade, who said that anybody can fall sick at any point in time, and it shouldn't be anybody's problem? All we should do is to keep praying for the president. Do you agree with him on that? Okoye, can you hear me? I think you made your point. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Okoye, for joining us on the program. Okoye from Italy, thank you for joining us on the show. Sorry, go ahead and make your point. You see, I've well, got a few more minutes. It's a, liberal, it's a liberal democratic system, presidential system. In advanced nations of the world, what obtains there? How do they do things? A man just, do, I mean, a member of parliament or government does something that is inappropriate or untoward. Oh, and he resigns. Absolutely. That, but know, there, there seems to, to be no culture of resignation in Nigeria. That is, that is where I'm get, trying to get to. There's no but culture how will there be a culture in Africa. It, it, it is how will there be a culture of resignation when we don't even agree? People do not even look at those common issues we are talking about. Mm -hmm. There are divergent opinions. Absolutely. I've had people call into the studio to say, look, the people that are calling for the president resignation or for him to be impeached are the people who never voted well, in Well, that power. is not supposed to be the situation because this issue has been going on for a long time. That's me. Our uh, people have been shying away from the truth. Okay, let me put she was saying this thing. Let me no, put, before, I, before today. I'm sorry, let me put it on hold. This may be my last call on the show. Philip, thank you so much, Philip. Good morning, Philip. Good morning, Philip. Hello, Philip, are you there? Was Philip there before he was transferred into the studio? Philip, good morning, are you there? Hello. Okay, Philip, good morning, are you there? Yeah, good morning, my brother. How are you doing today? Where are you calling from? Thank you. Yeah. Um, where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? Honorable that is sitting right in front of you. Philip, where are you calling from? I'm calling from London. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, the issue is that this same man... Hello? Go on. Thank you. Go on. I'm calling from London, yes. Yes, go on. Yeah. The issue is that this very honorable, honorable Bob that is sitting in presence of you right now... Yeah. If they ask him to resign, if there's anything that is happening to him, him himself will, will, will not resign. And I don't see the reason why 
He should be sitting down there, running down the presidency, all the Senate. Is he running down the president? president doing what is not right because he's sick. Okay? Philip, the situation today in Nigeria is part of the situation. It's part of the problem that the president is facing today. The situation he met in that government. This situation today, he's talking about the people sitting around the presidency that, that they are all corrupt, that is looking at the other way, fighting corruption. Those people that they are fighting, are they not PDP members that have been ruling for all these years? For the past 16 years, it's all PDP members. Is there any APC member ruling with them? Philip. Why is he talking about president fighting corruption and they are not looking at the APC member? Can also, you mention any of the APC member that is corrupt that they have not been able to invite, they have not invited in the EFCC or ICPC today? Can Philip. he himself mention them? Philip, Philip, one minute. 91 years of president. The issue of telling, uh, telling people, uh, uh, asking whether the president will be impeached or not is rubbish. No. The president can never be impeached. Okay. Philip, mind the language. Philip. The question is, should the president be impeached? Yes, no. There's no fight. You say your opinion, and then you leave others to say their opinion. Okay, you were cut off because of your use of language. Mind, when you come to this show, this mind is an international station. Thanks a lot. Philip is about the last call I can take on the show. Uh, Honorable Babs, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank I'm afraid this is the last I can take. On. Honorable Babs, Fakunda, thanks for taking your time to join thank us on the show. Thank you so much. I really All right, this far, far we can go on the program. I'm going to bring in my next guest, a young boy uh, who will be telling us young mind view. Uh, on international scene. Don't go away, I've got a guest coming in.